Hi guys, today I'm going to try and explain to you question 1 from the 2010 step 3 paper. Uh, this has taken me a number of attempts to get this right. It's the first step duration video I've done in a while, so let's see how this goes. Notice that the question is asking you to link the paraphimetic mean and variance of n fixed real numbers with the arithmetic mean and variance of n plus 1 fixed real numbers. With a bit of a uh, bit of looking, you, you might realize that those expressions are, yes, the mean and the variance. The first part of the question asks us to find an expression for c in terms of a, x to the n, x n plus 1 and n. Um, okay, well, that, that seems okay to do. I guess, first of all, we've got to realize that c is n plus 1 over n plus 1 of the summation. And I, I mean, how are those summations linked should be your question. How can I write this summation in terms of that summation? Well, if you think about it for a second, you'll discover that actually I can write it up to n here. And then the last term is just going to be x n plus 1. Okay. And then we realize that, well, this term here, well, that's just, if you think about it, that's just we multiply this by n, and we get n a. Okay, so we get a nice expression for c there. That's just 1 over n plus 1 multiplied by n a plus x n plus 1. So, yeah, part part 1 of the question is pretty general. Um, any, any slips there, um, I guess, just make sure your notation and algebra are, are neat the whole way through. And, you know, note down c. We, we'll need to refer this to some later point. Part two, well, this is B is given by that expression here. And in part two, we're asked to find an alternate expression for B. I guess one thing to notice is that we have A squared not being under the summation sign here. So it's not under the summation sign, so that's important. Um, but let's write down the B that we know and then work with it, and hopefully we can figure out that yeah, it's just equivalent to that. Okay, so I believe it is 1 over n times, yep, so we're given xk minus a, all squared. All right, well, I don't know if you've ever worked with the variance before to show it was equivalent to to some other expression, but this is exactly what we're doing here. Um, if you notice, we're trying to show that it's just um, the, the sum of the squares over n minus the mean squared. Um, you may have done that before in a stats module or something, but even if you haven't, it's okay. You know, we, we can get to this um, pr pretty similarly. We see that this, like if we expand the squared expression now, what we're going to get is xk squared minus 2a xk plus a squared. So we're going to have that. And, you know, applying the summation to each of those terms. We're going to get this. Um, as our first bit, then we can notice here that there's some constant terms that we can take out. So minus 2a would be one of those. So we're just going to have minus 2a over n multiplied by this summation. Okay, and then on the last summation, we'll notice we're just, it's 1 over n, and then we're summing a squared, and we're, we're summing that n times. So what is a squared plus a squared plus a squared? What is that n times? That's just n times a squared. Okay, and you'll notice that this expression, you know, 1 over n times this, this is just a. So in fact, we have minus 2a squared plus a squared. And um, over here, we just have that. And this equates to minus a squared. So that's, that's it. You know, we get exactly what we wanted in the question. Um, so that'll give us our expression for B. Okay. 